Hello, Mark's on our adventures. We are here at Pat's RV Park in Mesick, Michigan. We are, our site is 14 in the circle drive loop. Um, and this is a very, probably now officially the quietest campground we yes, have ever stayed at. Um, it's not real busy. There are a lot of seasonals, especially in this circle. Um, but there are some, I don't know, what we always label as transient sites, the ones that turn over. But it's still super quiet. And we just learned our neighbors on either side of us are pulling out tomorrow, so it's going to be even quieter <laughs> after that, unless other people come in tomorrow. But we're really close to, let's see, really close to Manistee, Michigan, really close to Traverse City. We were 42 minutes from Lake Michigan, um, but the official town is Mesick, which is not very big right here. So um, you should come and check it out. It's right on the backwaters of, Andy, you're going to have to remember. Oh, uh, we'll have to put it in there. Higadon. Dam, I think it is, maybe. Something. Uh, we'll put it, we'll yeah. list it here in the video. It's not the tippy dam, we can no, tell you that. No, it's not that, but uh, it's the backwaters of something. But it leads to the Manistee River, well, right? Well, Manistee River is, is what the water is that's filling the backwaters. And the Manistee River eventually dumps into Lake Michigan and Manistee. Yes. A um, little bit about the campground. It has 80 plus sites of which 30 are transient sites, the rest are 50 plus sites are seasonal sites. Um, we're, the other, there's only, uh, boy, I'm forgetting the number of sites that are down in Circle Drive, but a bulk of the sites are in the, uh, I guess I would call it upper part, so. Yeah. There's a beach here, a nice sandy beach. Oh, that's across the water. I don't know if you can see the water right there. That's somewhere over that way. Anyway, um, we're full hookup here, 50 amp, right? Yeah, correct. Um, but there's a marina, a boat launch, a beach, volleyball, bathhouse, uh, hiking, what else? I mean, you know, all the typical campground things, but it's super quiet here. Like, like quiet I've never experienced before. <laughs> Not complaining by any means. Andy worked today and uh, yeah, it was, it was super quiet. I took a nap. It was so quiet. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I guess that's all for now. Do a wrap up on Pat's RV um, Park and uh, in Mesick, Michigan. Uh, we stayed in the Circle Pass area. <laughs> We're pulling out on the road. That's why this is really like, bumpy. bumpy and shaky. Yeah. It's almost like a two-track, but it, it's not really a two-track. It, it is a wide open drive. It's wide. Well, you couldn't meet another car. Like, no. you have to take turns coming it's one out of lane. Here. One yeah. lane. So. But it's nice. But we um, we stayed in the Circle Park or Circle Drive uh, area of the park. Like we said in earlier in the video, there are additional sites up in the main campground area, but Circle park Drive is right on the water. Um, so we enjoyed it. It was very, very quiet. Um, all three nights we were here, and uh, or two nights, not three nights. Um, and uh, three nights. Oh, okay. three nights. Um, so what do you think, Shannon? Would you come back? Or yeah, I come back. It, I just want to clarify that when we say we're right on the lake, you can look out at the lake. It is not like it's a beach. You know, like a gradual incline to the lake, like it's a bluff down, a, a small bluff, what, six feet, maybe six, eight feet. Like there's stairs from where site 14 or right across the road down to it. But down to it is just a little ridge. Yeah. It's not like it's a beach. You have to walk a ways over yeah. this little footbridge to go to the beach because it's um like the boating area, marina area. So it's a little. little I wouldn't swim there. Well, I wouldn't swim in the... In Not the, that area, the, but I would ever at the beach. Where the walk bridge is, but yeah, yeah the beach. The beach um, area so. was all right. Yep. So. So. so, yes, I would stay here. We're not sure of if this... We found out about this campground at a camper show, and 
our neighbors did as well, a different camper show. So, as you know, we frequent camper shows and we had never heard of this park. So we don't know if it changed ownership or if it just changed management or if they just started promoting this campground because we hadn't seen it before. Um, so it'll be nice to see what becomes of it. The interesting thing about this campground, it probably won't change the feel even if they start um, like developing more sites because this property right here to our left is owned by Consumers Energy because um, there's a big dam right over on this backwaters and then the land farther down on the other side is national the Manistee National Forest so they're I mean they have a lot of property here don't get me wrong but not along the river so it's not like it's going to all of a sudden become a KOA like our other quiet campground um, is <laughs> so, not that there's anything wrong with KOAs. No, not we, knocking we, KOAs. We, we, do, we do solicit yes. KOAs as well. Yes, so. just, you know, as ever, yeah. most campers know, it's just a different vibe. Yeah. So this this is by far, even with all the seasonals near us, the quietest campground we have ever stayed at. Yep. Ever, ever, ever. Because, like, we were the only ones making noise this morning. I don't know if everybody else was asleep or just because of the weather, it's cooler or whatever. But it's, it's very quiet. So... And the, you know the nice the nice thing too is you can make this a uh, um, uh, main stay, and Traverse City is only thirty minutes away. We talked about that. Yeah, yeah. in Manistee. So it, we drove it yesterday and actually did yeah. because it was raining. Sleeping um, Bear Dunes. Yeah, yeah. So it, all within quick drive times, under an yeah. hour. So um, lots to see in the area. Yep. So so we're headed home. Okay. Always the kind of the bummer day, but. <laughs> It is what it is at yep. this point. Yep. So on to our next adventure. Yep, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.